All right, everybody, you all know what a tree hugger I am and how protective of I am of the power companies coming and abusing their easements. So this is a tree that is probably 20 feet from the power line in either direction. The power line has an easement for 30 feet in this area and anything that grows um, like up or into any power lines they can trim, cut, or spray. So you can see here, at some point they did some spraying and it transitions from like cable company, telephone, and electric being up high. So at some point, somebody has come through and they sprayed this cluster of vines that was growing on this transformer box for probably um, internet cable or something like that. This tree is plenty far away without having to have this kind of trimming done and this homeowner was highly displeased of it but they let them do it and you can refuse service to avoid this from happening so for instance this house sold last year and it was in about the 220 range when i was selling my house there's a power line that goes through the middle of the backyards between the houses that are on the other road facing out and this one. The power company has decided to go through and top the trees behind this garage. So this homeowner didn't know that they could refuse service and now all their trees are topped. This house is like an 1800s style house in this town and this town is Consumers Energy Gas and Detroit Edison Electric. So this old maple tree here in the back has been getting cut today. They're gone off to work. They don't know what's going on. The only harm to this tree at all for any power outages would be to their own supply. You can see where his bucket's at and this tree is part way dead. A lot of times these trees will go into shock because of power lines. So it's good that they're doing it for storm damage, but on the other hand, this tree is older than this house and they're going through and trimming it up. So in our area, this Asplund tree service are a bunch of asses and they go through and they chop up everyone's uh, heritage trees. Well, guess what? They don't always leave you the firewood for it either. This is my old neighborhood. This row of trees grows under a power line. There's also a power line on this side of the road. What was on my side of the road was not power but cable and they cut down the only tree I had in the front yard. There's my house. Well, not my house anymore. But you can see they left other trees going down the road. But for whatever reason, they got ants in their pants to cut down the tree in my front yard and it was the only one. They've been in this neighborhood already. Now Wright's Tree Service is another tree company that services this area. Um, it used to exclusively be that Asplund. Um, it can vary, but the last few years it's always been the Wright's Tree Service. So Consumers Energy, or DTE, I want to say it was Consumers Energy, left a flyer on our front door at the workhouse that we're working on now and this property had no trees on it at all when we bought the house. So say maybe 15 years ago or so, we went and bought some $12 Home Depot trees and we planted them. So there's a maple or oak tree and um, a crab apple tree growing in the front yard. It's providing shade for the home, which saves on your electric bill because you're not overrunning your um, air conditioner in the hot, hot months because you're getting a little shade from it. It also is adding curb appeal and some privacy. So they wanted to take down a whole tree. I have to turn this cam camera around and show you this. So here's another beautiful maple tree and they left the branch under the line and trimmed it all the way up. 
that looks terrible. They might as well have cut these lower branches off. So now if the homeowner wants to have that cleaned up and balanced, then they've got to pay to have that brought in. And as you can see, there's no firewood left behind for them. So for instance, my husband's grandfather built this house. They came from a farm and they planted apple trees. Because there's no power lines, the apple trees are still here for generations later to enjoy. So it's been a couple days and I've been busy. It's post weekend and they're still in the neighborhood. They finished up their tree service in this area. Okay, they chopped up the maple tree in the back. They chop, chopped up the pine tree in the back. But look at this. I'll zoom in in a second. They left the dead tree for the homeowner at their own tree service there. There's a maple tree with dead limbs back there and of course they left them because they're not gonna do your homeowner tree trimming. But that's the stuff that causes the power outage in the storm. So right there, they cut all that. It's so sad. So I get to the end of the street and I see this. This is railroad property probably going up to the edge. The railroad tracks are right over here. Why not just cut these couple of limbs off or all of them? It's just some volunteer walnut trees that are growing from the mother walnut tree next to it. And then they go and top these little things right here. Those are as big as my arm. Why not just cut them off? Their rhyme to reason is completely and totally senseless. The funny thing is about these electric company and utility company easements is I called Consumers Energy and DTE about this electric line going above the garage to be able to have it um, tree trimmed around it while we were doing uh, the roof last summer. Now they said they don't see any problems. Um, it'll be fine. They'll revisit it again this year. So this year they leave a note on the door. Now, so the utility service is coming from behind the house to a pole at the front and then servicing back to the house. Now, 20 years ago when we bought this house, we planted this crab apple tree and this maple tree. For the most part, all the way down the street, all the utilities are on this side. This property just sold last year. They planted some new trees. They've got no utility service to worry about in their front yard. So I showed up to do my lawn mowing. The utility company shows up and they mark the tree on the inside. So they leave a note on the door slating this tree for an entire removal. Now, they normally come by and they would trim any branches that are um, kind of encroaching into it. Well, you can refuse service and this is why we are so protective of it. They wanna take this whole tree down and you can see there's lots of, well, maybe you can't see, but kind of utility line service seems to interfere with it, like I said earlier. So I've got lots of dead stuff up here in the center, which is more common in maple. I wouldn't be as opposed to them saying, okay, well, there's, there's a tree on a, um, a branch on a line and we need to trim it. The trouble is they want to take the entire tree down and undo everything we've been doing to provide shade for this house and all that beauty that was added to this. We had a curb appeal video on this a couple years ago when I had first painted it before. Um, I still got some work to do here before, but the plan is, is that you're planting your trees for your future. So for a tree trimming crew to come through and just start chopping things up, um, that can hurt your curb appeal a lot and it really takes away from all your effort that you put into your own yard, your tree planting, and your planning for your future. So refuse service, you know, don't sign anything because that is saying you're agreeing to their contract. So, you know, don't give them an okay verbally, just no, because you don't know what they're gonna do when you're not there. So like I had said before, you know, you don't wanna come home, have your trees totally gone or butchered up like some of them that we've seen in the video. So as always, 30 feet easement um, is what they're granted. 
don't plant that close. Now, you know, all those years ago when we planted these trees, this is a small front yard. I don't have 30 feet from the front of the house to the curb. And, you know, looking back, well, I don't know if we planned on owning it this long or not, but we're gonna, we're gonna stand our ground and we're gonna keep our trees. So they've already gone through, they've moved out to the outskirts of town now and the trees are safe for this year.